The Cedric Huckabee painting titled Gone But Not Forgotten, Jaden and John Marcus, for the Valley House Gallery booth at the Dallas Art Fair, is from a new series based on family and loss. Huckabee paints from life, and his practice is to begin a new series with himself before it radiates out, perhaps to his brother. In Gone But Not Forgotten, each of these family members is wearing a t-shirt printed with a photograph of a loved one that has passed on. In an earlier series of five large paintings installed on one wall, Huckabee painted his own family. In another series, he painted his grandmother, Big Mama, and a portrait of each of her eight children. For the 99%, a series of 101 lithographs, he drew portraits of people in his Fort Worth neighborhood and included text elements of their conversations during the sittings. It's a statement about community, an abiding interest for Cedric Huckabee, along with faith and family. Here is Cedric to talk to us about Gone But Not Forgotten. Hello, my name is Cedric Huckabee, and I'm standing here in Big Mama's house where I'm working on a series of paintings that are dealing with black mortality. And part of the reason that I wanted to deal with black mortality is because there's so many issues that are laced within that subject. For example, police brutality, uh, inadequacies in the uh, medical system, um, black, mort black mortality as it pertains to infants, issues with black on black crime, and just the whole deal of dealing with debt in and of itself. And so that's the reason why I'm doing this series. What you can see here behind me is a portrait that I've done of my cousin Jaden. Uh, Jaden is wearing the funerary t-shirt of his great grandfather, uh, John Marcus. And Jaden has aspirations of going to the military and John Marcus was in the military. So there's this dual portrait where you can see Jaden's face and a little bit under, see John Marcus. One of the things that I think is interesting is to see how the square is seen on the, in, the, in the center of the Fureres teacher and how it has a kind of rhythmic relationship to the squares of the quilt behind. And I also use the quilt as a tool to kind of speak about black heritage, but it has a relationship to the square on the shirt. And I'm always trying to find ways to use mark making and texture as language or like the notes in a song. And so you see all of the textures and you see all of the mark making and the variety of mark making. And that's the way that I just talk about um, life, what life feels like in general. So I'm, I'm looking forward to the day that you might be able to see this piece in person. And hopefully I'll be able to see you in person. Thank you for joining me for this short time and hope to see you again.